What could be better than one of America's long train journeys? Like the California Zephyr, which travels more than 2,400 miles over the course of three days. But today, we're talking about a train journey that's far less grand, but arguably just as interesting. In fact, if you start this video at the exact moment that you leave the station, you'll be at the end of the line before I'm back telling you thank you for watching and to please like and subscribe. By the way, please do. South of New York City and part of the NJ Transit Network, the Princeton Junction branch holds the title of shortest rail commute in the country. With no intermediate stops, this under five minute journey is often referred to as the PJ and B or Princeton Junction and back. But most have come to know it by another name. At just 2.7 miles long, this rail line has earned its mighty nickname, the Dinky. It's pint-sized, it's quick, and it whisks passengers between the Princeton Junction Station on the Northeast Corridor and the illustrious campus of Princeton University. At Princeton Junction, riders can make a connection with the Northeast Corridor Line on NJ Transit, or even one of the few Amtrak Northeast Regional trains that make this station stop each day. Here, one of the dinky train sets enters the branch. NJ Transit still uses GE Aero 3 cars, which were built in the late 1970s. Over 50 years later, these multiple units are still riding the rails. There have been several proposals lately to revamp the right-of-way used by the dinky. Some include a continuation of rail service with similar train sets or light rail vehicles. But it's unlikely these historic train sets will continue in service for too much longer. So grab your photos and videos of these while you still can. Departing the station, the dinky appropriately traverses a similarly sized crossing meant for pedestrians heading to their cars in the adjacent parking lot. Still standing in the parking lot, we see another Aero 3 set approaching Princeton Junction. About halfway through the journey, the PJ&B crosses through the Delaware and Raritan Canal State Park. We catch an eastbound passing over the picturesque canal on its way back to Princeton Junction. I didn't even bother renting a car for this filming because I was easily able to walk the entire route of the PJ&B. Now on the Princeton University campus, a westbound train crosses Faculty Road. Mere moments later, the dinky makes its triumphant arrival into the Princeton University Station. The new station was opened in 2014. This postcard depicts the original station, which was built on campus in 1865. The train now begins back towards Princeton Junction. The dinky makes this shuttle run several times per hour. From Princeton Junction, I hop aboard another NJ Transit train and leave the route of the dinky. While waiting for the train, I catch a bit of the action here on the busy Northeast Corridor. And as promised, we have completed our episode in about the same amount of time as the actual rail journey on the dinky. To experience the aforementioned California Zephyr, one of Amtrak's longest routes, check out this video about our winter adventure. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.